I, I always say that uh, I am a member of civil society uh, that had been borrowed uh, by politicians in order to, uh, to implement uh, a kind of, of, of poli policy and reconstruct democracy. In the past uh, 10 days, we have uh, new, uh, around 18 new political prisoners in jail just for protesting. But uh, uh, like uh, the, the battery, when you must go on, go on the bunny, it's what you have to do. It's to organize people and let them uh, know that it, it is in their hands, the change. Uh, you always have uh, uh, this uh, sensation when you wake up in the morning, I'm gonna quit. And that it, it lasts for 10 seconds and then uh, you realize that uh, you cannot quit because quitting will be uh, the, what uh, the government wants in this moment because uh, uh, the government is instrumenting uh, via propaganda the sensation of disconcert that you uh, do not understand what is happening around uh, you uh, because they hide all the information, the real information. And uh, there is where civil society is doing a very important job. Because in a country where you do not have official information about economics, about illnesses, about uh, anything, uh, it is uh, the civil society organized that it's doing uh, this uh, job that should be done by the state. When I tell my friends of civil society that uh, it's, uh, it's a very high mountain to climb, uh, they often tell me, oh, I didn't realize, but do not worry. I know it is very high, but climb one step a day. And that's it. If we do things well, we can rebuild a country that could be one of the most beautiful countries in the world.